I got a new phone. I mean, technically I have had this one since July of 2023, but we're not gonna talk about that. <laughs> hey guys, it's me and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you what's on my iPhone 14 Plus. So this is my iPhone. This is the case, you know, we're going to ignore the mild defect um, by yours truly, <laughs> but yeah. So I have the iPhone 14 Plus. Let me take off the case so y'all can see. It's very tight. Oh my gosh. So here she is. It's so pretty. You can literally see my ring light. Oh, I wish I could just leave it off, but I cannot. That's not even an option. Here's my case. Um, if you can't tell, <laughs> it already kind of has a crack in it, but it's okay. I cannot live without pop sockets. Like I will not have a phone case unless it has pop socket on it. I am, again, way too clumsy for that. <laughs> also, because I'm clumsy, um, on my actual phone, I have another screen protector, and then, so I have two screen protectors on this thing, and somehow one of them still got cracked. Okay, so first up, we have my wallpaper. Now, oh, sorry, um, that was one of my old <laughs> notifications. Um, so we have a vision board that I made back in January. Um, you know, I think that, you know, one of them is a little bit more prevalent um, because I have two pictures of them. But anyways, <laughs> we have reading more, we have working out, and then I'm a boyfriend. Who put that there? So I have three pages on my iPhone because I don't believe in folders because for some reason I can't be bothered to have to click on a folder and find the app. I just like being able to click on the app. Um, yes, lazy at its finest, but it's fine. <laughs> so on my first screen, I have a locket. Now, locket, if you don't have it, get it for you and your friends. Me and my friends post on there all the time, plus me and my mom and my sister. So that is the first thing you see when you go onto my app, as you can tell. <laughs> Great, now I'm on there. <laughs> no. <laughs> Anyways, and then you just have the normal, like what, Apple gives you calendar settings, FaceTime, photos, etc. etc. I'm not gonna read them all. Um, but yeah, I don't really have anything fun on here. I do have a productivity folder, um, but it really just has my reminders and my notes, and we are definitely not going to look through those. Now I am a Apple Maps girly. I don't know, I've never really used Google Maps or like any other maps. I don't know, I just like Apple Maps. <laughs> Then we have YouTube, and I'm sure if you're watching this, you obviously know what YouTube is. Um, but yeah, obviously love YouTube. It's where I post all my videos. Again, if you haven't subscribed, you definitely should because I'm posting more content every single Tuesday, long videos, and I post shorts every single day. So join the fam. Next up, we have Instagram. Now, obviously love Instagram. If you are not following me on Instagram, you definitely should too if you're allowed to have it. Um, it's just where I post a lot more behind the scenes, like right here, posted my shower photos, pre-shower makeup. I post a lot more of my just like at home and I post on my stories once a day. So if you want to see a little bit more behind the scenes of my life, then you should definitely follow me on Instagram. On to the next page. We have obviously the fitness app. As you can tell, I walk a lot. <laughs> no, I don't. Anyways, I have a messenger app. That's where I message my mom and dad and sister and stuff. Then we have CapCut. CapCut I use ed for editing. It was probably edited this video on CapCut. Plus I just love looking at all of their templates and I just think it's a really good way to, oh, jeez, my friend just texted me. <laughs> Anyways, sorry about that. But yeah, I really love CapCut. If you just need like a quick and easy editing platform that looks professional, plus like it's just really easy to use, then I highly recommend using CapCut. Then we have the Disney World app because oh, I love Disney World. It's so fun. Pinterest, obviously essential. Gotta love it. Um, if you, I mean, if you don't have Pinterest, what are you doing? I mean, you can tell. <laughs> Don't look at my home screen, it's fine. Um, you can you can definitely tell where my brain cells are at on Pinterest. <laughs> then we have the Venmo app and then Crumble Cookies. Wait, what flavors do they have this week? 
Okay, this week they have banana split, chocolate sea salt toffee, cookies and cream milkshake, cookie butter lava, and a cowboy cookie. Oh my gosh, those sound amazing. I might have to get one of those. Check on my Instagram if I got one. <laughs> Next up we have Heads Up. Um, really fun for if you're like stuck somewhere, stuck in a car, stuck in literally anywhere, Heads Up is a go-to. <laughs> Next up we have TikTok. Now, obviously, um, I do not use TikTok for literally any other purpose than for filming. Like, I literally just don't. I love the using the filters. I think they're really fun. But TikTok is definitely very... It can be very weird sometimes. So I usually just stay off TikTok unless it's for filming purposes. <laughs> Next up we have the Kindle app because I am a online reader. I don't really read a lot of paperbacks just because... I'm on the go so often, like trying to carry around a book just sounds awful, so I just read on my phone. So I have Kindle, Everend, and then I think, oh, y'all saw that I'm reading Icebreaker. That's not, let's not go there. <laughs> Next up we have Discord. I'm not going to be clicking on it because it's where I just talk to a lot of my friends. Um, so yeah. Now, here's one of my only folders. It's called Birthday Freebies, and this is everywhere where I get my birthday freebies. Obviously, on my birthday, Panera Bread gives you a free bakery. Auntie Annie's gives you a free pretzel. Baskin Robbins gives you a scoop of free ice cream. Ulta, obviously, you get the beauty gift, and then Starbucks gives you a free drink after being subscribed to them for over a year. I made that mistake last year, and I did not get my free drink, so be sure to sign up over a year before your birthday. <laughs> Then we have Netflix, obviously, where I watch my favorite shows. Right now, I'm currently watching Outer Banks again because the season four is coming out and I cannot wait for that crap to come out. But, so yeah, gotta rewatch it because I kind of forgot kind of what happened. I mean, I remember it, but like not enough. You know what I'm saying? Next, we have Life360. That's just how me and my family track each other. It sounds really creepy in that way, actually, but it's a wholehearted way. <laughs> Next, we just have the Walmart app. Again, another reading app, Libby. We have the TV folder. I've actually never touched this folder in my entire life, um, but it's fine. Google Drive, where I upload all of my videos. Google Photos, where I connected a lot more of my extra photos just because I did not have room for any of them. So that was a little bit of an issue, but it's fine now. <laughs> we have Fitness CF. That is my gym. That's how I sign into my gym every single day. And boy, is it painful. Next we have my Goodreads. Actually, I'm going to be putting this in the link in my bio because I want to be able to follow all the book girlies. Now, I love Goodreads and I'm actually going to be sharing my Goodreads account with all of you guys. So if you wanna follow me on Goodreads, I will follow you back so we can be like book friends. You know what I'm saying? Oh. These are all the books I've read this year. We Were Liars, Slammed, If He Had Been With Me. Oh, don't even remind me of that. That book made me want to crawl into a hole and die. <laughs> Next we have Audible. I actually don't use Audible that often anymore. I used to use it a lot when I would go on walks, but now it is just absolutely scalding hot outside. If you were to go on a walk outside, you'd make it about a block before turning into a shrimp. Next up, we have the Bible app. I actually think that might have came with the phone. I personally am not religious, but I just have it on there sometimes. Really? That's cute. Aww. Next up, I have the Heavy app. Now, I highly, highly, highly recommend this app. I cannot recommend it enough, honestly. It's a free app. Um, it is so good. This is where how I track all of my workouts. It is really, really nice. Honestly, like I have, and you can save all of your workouts. Like I have, again, I have a four day split. So quads and glutes, back and buys, hamstrings, glutes and calves, shoulder chest and triceps. And I have them all detailed in these. Let me know if you want a video on that, but I highly recommend the heavy app if you want to like be able to go through them. Next we have Facebook. I honestly don't use Facebook that much unless I'm going to like an event or something and the info's in Facebook, you know? Next, we have Poshmark. Um, honestly, I don't use Poshmark for myself. I usually use it to help my sister. 
Um, but yeah, I don't really use Poshmark because I'm never buying any new clothes, except I really should because I'm completely out of clothes. If you want to see my closet, This is my closet, please do not mind all the dirty clothes on the bottom, but we're not talking about that. <laughs> Next we have Fetch. Now, I actually use Fetch quite a bit. You can scan your receipts and it will give you these points. You can scan any receipt you have, even if it's like from Amazon online. You can scan them, put your account in here and it will track it and you get points. And then when you get a certain amount of points, usually it's around 5,000, you can get like, five dollars or three dollars in an amazon gift card so is it the best way to track like receipts no is it like gonna help you in the long run probably not but is it fun to get free money basically if you use it enough yes next we have just the google app now um the only reason i have the google app on here is i usually use safari but Google Lens. Sometimes I need to use Google Lens and that Safari doesn't have that, so yeah. Next we have Flow. If you're a girl, you know, you know. Um, anyways. Next we have obviously the bottom four. I'm not even sure why Apple Music is on here because I don't use Apple Music. Actually, how do I get rid of that? Anyways, we have general messages, Safari, and the phone. Also, I forgot to put this in at the beginning, but my background, you can't really tell because of all the apps, but it's a picture of my sister with a filter on. I used to love that photo and I still do and I will never take it off. Looks like that's gonna be it for my what's on my iPhone 14 plus. It was a very short video, I know, I'm very sorry, but I'm very boring with my phone, honestly. I can do an updated one of these probably at the end of the year if you guys want to. But knowing me, I probably won't change that much because I'm very basic when it comes to my phone. Um, a lot of the things that you saw on my phone, I just use on a daily basis because again, I'm trying to be a content creator. So a lot of my life is through my phone. So yeah, but it's always fun to watch these videos, I think, to like look back and see like, oh my gosh, that's what my phone used to look like. Uh, how much have I matured, you know? Like if I would have done one of these videos when I was a YouTuber back in like 2022, Boy, would we have had some other stuff on there. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what other videos you want to see from me. Bye.